Okay, can we do the podcast? I got a meeting in town. <laughs> Don't ha uh, me. You've been talking for the last 15 minutes. This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. You were talking too. About you. My, uh, <laughs> Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast. <sighs> Friday, February 24th. Charity was home yesterday. There was no podcast, so she's taking it out on me today. Um, I think there was a podcast. Did you not put a podcast up yesterday? <laughs> no, I did not. Are you sure? Then it must have been looked. Wednesdays that didn't get posted because I didn't do a podcast. The misused yesterday. emoji. Yeah, it was from Wednesday. Right? We one did day that ago. one on Wednesday. Did we? Yeah. I thought we did. No, no. That would have been Wednesday's podcast. Well, it went up a day ago. Yeah. Okay. Well, then Wednesdays didn't go. That's how much I pay attention to the podcast. Once I get out of here, the world can deal with it. We've oh, done everything we have to do. Everything else after this, not my responsibility. Everybody, on the coldest weekend of the year. I don't think you're alone. No. It is the coldest weekend of, of the year for many reasons. <clears throat> It's starting off cold today, both on within the thermometer, on the thermometer, but also because of what's going on down at Herkimer. We are hours away at recording time. It's just after 9.30, recording for the podcast today. The um, law enforcement going into the bay, as they do every year for the polar bear plunge, r- uh, raising a lot of money mm-hmm. for Ontario Special Olympics. Not just law enforcement, but EMTs. Some EMTs. Uh, yeah. Firefighters are going to be down mm-hmm. there. The Ministry of Environment, what is it? Environment, Environment and Conservation and Parks. Parks. Yes. M-E-C-P. Yes. We learned that this week. Who are the Ice Ice Babies. <laughs> That's right, Mark's Ice Ice Babies. Oh, I love that name. They will and be down there, too. a team of Special Olympians. Yes. Also taking That's part. Right. So it's about half a dozen of those, and you can get down there and watch them. We uh, caught up with Inspector Sherry Meeks uh, getting ready for the day-to-day to find out why the Ontario Special Olympics is so entrenched in the hearts of law enforcement. Special Olympics Ontario is like a very uh, worthwhile agency that police forever have sponsored in Ontario. So we just kind of threw the challenge out there to the other first responders, which we've done for the last two years, because right now there's 26,000, actually there's over 26,000 Special Olympic athletes and about 80 locally that really were hit hard by the pandemic. And we're trying to ensure that they can compete and have increased fundraising to help them out and to get them back into their what's called their hometown games. So the goal right now for this year's Polar Plunge is to help raise funds to enable more of those hometown games to take place across the province. So it would allow the athletes to get back into playing the sports that they love, right? And which has kind of been on hold for the last few years. Can people come out and watch, Sherry? Yes, this year, absolutely. If, some, if people want to come out, we are encouraging anybody wants to come and watch us take the plunge and uh, once again hit polarplunge.ca keep us in the top three and more importantly get our local athletes supported Mm -hmm. uh thanks for everything you're doing uh sharing good luck thank you so much have a great day you two so get down there and watch that better still polarplunge.ca make a donation between now and then we talked about this morning, and then they started making a few hundred bucks. We know exactly. people are reacting to it they want to do it well and inspector meeks did she not carry the torch for Special Olympics. Special Olympics has a special connection to her, too. And I want to say that she was involved with one year with the Games. Because it's it is it, it it's a great cause, but she's been yeah. involved with them for, for a number of years. So she is quite passionate. And, and it's great that this event is back and it's happening and that we can go and and see it in person again at 1 o'clock this afternoon. a little afternoon. niggle in my head yeah. that says you're right. That's kind of when, something when like we were that. talking, yeah. it kept coming back. So I'll have to, when we talk to her next, I'll have to ask her about that. But I want to say that she was involved with the games in some way one year. Yeah. Okay, great. Which is pretty cool. Yep. So that's good. So they're going to be going down. Get down there today at uh, at one thirty, and then uh, tomorrow 1 o'clock. or one o'clock. I'm so get there one thirty. Well, you, know. <laughs> you might have missed some of it. <laughs> Welcome to my life. I got everybody there. There, a dollar short. You, the you and Mark will be wandering. In. What's going on? <laughs> How'd it go? <laughs> Maybe you should walk with me tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure this is the way we're supposed? Yeah, this is the way we're supposed to I'm go. I'm Charity's walking, buddy. <laughs> because the Polar Pledge kicks off 
today and then tomorrow to continue with the theme of the coldest weekend, coldest night of the year. And we've been talking about this the last few weeks in support of Grace in Shelter here in Belleville, a homeless shelter, uh, raising money. 54 teams here in Belleville. That's incredible. We'll be participating tomorrow great. Night. And we checked in with Ashley Vader on the show this morning. Have you checked for the, the weather for tomorrow? I think it's supposed to be really windy and cold. Yeah. <laughs> it, it may we'll not. give everybody a great experience. May, That's right. right. <laughs> it may not live up to the title of coldest night of the year, but it's what you had in mind when you put it together, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I was looking at the numbers, though, and wow, 54 teams, over 200 yeah. walkers expected for tomorrow night. You, you have to be happy with this. Oh, my word. I, we are so excited. I think this is over 100 walkers more than we had last year. Oh, that's great. And last year we only had 34 teams, and now we've got 20 more teams this year as well. So, so much more representation throughout our community is going to be present tomorrow. So the next 24 hours, the important part is to make sure those final donations come in. Really easy to do through a website. Yeah, so you go to cnoy.org. And you hit the location button and you type in Belleville. And that way you can see all of the teams. You can sponsor individual walkers or you can donate right to the organization in general overall. And I I know where where our team is at, Ashley. Mm. How's the Grayson Shelter team? We are second. Um, We have, I think, coming in this morning, just over $3,000 raised for the workers of Grayson. Um, again, we will continue to plug our team. Please donate. There's going to be <laughs> yeah. at least 10 staff members present. <laughs> That's incredible. That's great. Yeah, and then the uh, the first place team, the Amblers, um, they have over like four thousand no. dollars raised. They're doing Nobody amazing. is going to touch St. Andrews. Like they're <laughs> right, all it's true, it's over true. it. They are all over it. <laughs> Ashley Vader of uh, Grace and Shelter tomorrow night, coldest night of the year, supported and participated with the Starboard Cares Polar Bears. Yes, and last I checked, I think I believe we're sitting at number nine. Nine. So all we right. still have we Good. still have some time to to bump our pledges. Up as well. Now, along with the walk tomorrow night, Ashley, um, what else is planned? What's what's going to go down? So tomorrow night we have Starbucks serving hot chocolate and coffee. There's going to be one right at the shelter, and there's going to be a little rest up on the way on both of the the 2K walk and the 5K walk. And then there's a stop at St. Andrews for uh, Chilango's soup. Ooh. Um, and that's at the end of your walk. So as you're coming back to the shelter, you get a hot uh, bowl of soup. And then when you make your way to the shelter, there's two fire pits to warm yourselves up. Now, the walks, the 2 and 5K walks, I do have to ask, they are clearly marked, Well correct? marshaled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they will be absolutely clearly marked. Okay. We've got some volunteers set up ready to direct all of our walkers in the right direction so that they're not getting lost. Well, mm-hmm. we were we were talking about this earlier in the week, and I'm, I'm all for the 5K walk, but we had a listener share that she participated last year, and she just got talking to her fellow walkers, and before they knew it, they had walked 7K. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's been an honor. They really, they really raised that money they for did. a good They time. did. Yeah. They really put, put the work in uh, exactly. last year. Yeah, yeah. You wanted them to turn as humid. They went to Herkimer. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but they were out there supporting, and and I saw the pictures last year too. The yellow toques. Are they bright yellow again this year? So we can identify they're not, everybody. They're, they're not bright yellow this year. They're a gray color. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. Well then. So just look for all the floating gray heads. <laughs> right. Charity's going to need a walking buddy. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I've got Here, a few. You can join me. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but it's going to be, it sounds like just, it's going to be a fun night. When should people who are participating or, or coming to cheer and encourage people, when should they all arrive tomorrow? Yeah, so uh, everything starts at 4 o'clock. So for our volunteers, they know to arrive early. And then for anyone who's registering to walk, arrive at 4. We'll have a little opening ceremony and then we'll get the walk started um, and then for anybody cheering on, we will be walking, I think, starting 4.30. Um, so if you want to line Victoria Street and Bridge Street, you'll see a bunch of us walking uh, in those directions. Excellent. And we can't forget what this is all about to raise money, of course, for the Grace and Shelter. For those who want to learn more, Ashley, where's the best place for them to, to find out more about what you do? Uh, they can go to graceandshelter.com. All of our information is right on there. And for any current events that's happening at the shelter, they can go right to our Facebook page, Grace in Shelter. 
um, and find any updates, any donation requests. We always put on there anybody who has donated to the shelter. We love to show the support that the community gives. Um, and I know that folks folks love to see those. So, yeah, our Facebook page is probably our most updated information place. C-N-O-Y dot org. Mm-hmm. Get those donations in. Put them over the top. And enjoy your walk tomorrow, Ashley. Thanks for the time this morning. Thank you so much. You were really stoked for that yellow tooth. I know I you were. <laughs> so. I saw the pictures from last year. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I don't have a yellow tooth. That's awesome. Because I was going to wear my Chargers toque tomorrow sure, night. Sure, we'll do it anyway. I'm going yeah, to, but yeah. yes, um, we will get toques as well. I think you had to raise $150. Okay. If you raise, then you get a toque. Oh, you get so. like half a dozen toques. You, look at you. So I get a right. toque. Yeah. I am, you know what? I'm pretty proud. You should be. That's of great. myself, but also our team. That's our great. team doubled our yeah, original goal, goal which is like incredible. 500, now we're yeah. well over 1,000, yeah. and we're in the top 10 fundraising teams in town. And our job is to raise awareness. Yeah. And we're still raising money. Exactly. And you know I love why? it. Great listeners. Oh, amazing listeners. Amazing, generous listeners who buy into what we're selling. <laughs> and I don't get it either. They can see but, the yeah. importance of these events as well. And, yeah, and yeah. it's great that they've been so generous with not only us, but all the teams participating. Yep. Uh, St. Andrews yeah. is leading the pack right now with over 4,000, which is awesome. The Amblers. Yeah. <laughs> St. I Andrew want to walk Amblers. with them. Yeah. <laughs> We'd be St. Anthony because we'd be lost, and he's a patron <laughs> saint of finding things. <laughs> we'd be the St. Anthony Amblers because <laughs> we got lost. Uh, but then I, I, when we were talking to her this morning, I thought, isn't that great? Not only is St. Andrews the top fundraising team and probably the largest team taking part. I think so. With over a dozen people. Mm-hmm. They're donating their space for the soups. You stop yeah. So it's like they're all in. They are all in on this event. They give back. So tip Tenfold. of the toque. To St. Andrews as a parish and as those who are walking and to the volunteers and everybody for tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. Because as Ashley pointed out, it's gotten bigger, it's gotten better, but it's really taken off after the pandemic. And that's so great to see the community embrace the aims of uh, the Grace and Shelter. So that is great. Well, and it's kind of hit home more so even this winter since we actually went down and spoke to them and learned a little something Mm -hmm. about what all they do, because they do do a lot, uh, a lot more than what you may think. Um, It's kind of it's, I've become much more aware this winter of some of those colder nights. And it, I have gone back to our conversations with Ashley and our visit to the shelter and thought, mm-hmm. wow, so important to have to have that here available to those who need it. And the programs that they provide Absolutely. with those that transition out. And you think, well, wait a minute, I thought it was just a nighttime shelter. No, 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 no. there are transition programs. They work with them, yeah. with their, their guests. And I love that they use the word guests because they are. To find permanent housing, to find mm-hmm. something more permanent for them and, and consistent, something more stable, which I think is amazing. And uh, and it is working because they've transitioned them into homes and yeah. created roommates and friends out of them. And uh, th- these programs, are, it's it's remarkable. It also includes helping those who, who become homeless if, if they're not from here, trying mm-hmm. to set them up. Where's your hometown? You should be around your family. And they help to make that happen. They it's don't have remarkable. the means to even get back home. Yeah. yeah. What, they help what them do, we do it. Do? Yep. You know, so it's it's uh, it's amazing. It's great, and and so Ashley and the staff there they're putting their money where their mouth is because they know Absolutely. it works. They're the number two team. They certainly are fundraising. <laughs> and so well, it's great. And if you're going to be number two to someone, Saint Andy's, Saint Andy's then yeah, yeah, for sure that's okay. But Grace and two lose, doing wonderful. Lose the Amblers. <laughs> I, always, I always say that, right? Don't I always say that? Like, always, every, every day, day. That's what every I day. Well, that's what Mike lose, says. The Amblers. <laughs> Have a great time. Okay, I can't wait Thanks. to hear about it on Monday. Oh, I'll Pictures. have to, if I'm here, hopefully I make it yeah. back. So <laughs> I don't end up in like Tindanego or or yeah. North or somewhere. So, yeah, yes. Th- there's an Amber Alert on <laughs> Saturday night. We've lost Charity. Somebody go find her. She's in a Charger too. And she's up in the East Hill in oh somebody's backyard. She's just, watch, she's just circling. She doesn't know where to go. She, please, somebody. Oh, my God. It'll be, It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Right. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast. Join us for just two more mornings in February. <laughs> then join us in March. But uh, for me, March 1st. I, I love March 1st. It's spring. To me, it's spring. Mark's giddy. Everything about March is great. March Maple Madness. Uh, baseball starts like preseason games. There's March Madness. Mark's birthday. Yeah, whatever. Uh, A week from today. And uh, March breaks in there. The I RV know. show's coming up. Like everything about. 
coming out of hibernation starts. Yeah, it still may snow, whatever. And there always is a March snowstorm, but it's March. Yeah. And it's just, oh, and that's Wednesday. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I got to lay my clothes out. I'm all ready. I might wear shorts. Prepares. Yeah. <laughs> Mark will be prepared. Get the sandals out. So enjoy the final weekend of February, everybody. Enjoy all of the events going on, including Savor the Chill in downtown Belleville and lots more. You'll hear about it all coming up Monday with Mark and Charity Mornings on 95.5 Hits FM.